Hey everybody, Axel Gumbel back here with the second piece of our Heritage Highlight Series and today I'm joined by Matt Dacey, Director of Heritage Hall. Thanks for joining us, Matt. Axel, hello. And we're taking it outside today. We hello. are at Fife Family Statuary Park, just west of the Gonda Building. Mm -hmm. And this is of course where you can see the famous Mayor Brothers statue as well as uh, Mother Alfred and uh, the Elder Mayo, Dr. W.W. W. Mayo. But today we are here to highlight a brand new sculpture and this is where uh, Matt comes in to tell us all about it. Uh, Matt, what are we looking at here today? This statue actually is a, a, an example of stewardship here at Mayo Clinic. It's a new installation, but it incorporates architectural artifacts from a previous building, the Rochester Post Office. And tell us more about that because the, the, the bison here have uh, some significance. They do. We've had so much change in our downtown area. We want to remember the buildings that were here earlier. And so not too far from right behind where you're standing was the Rochester Post Office designed in the, during the Great Depression, a major installation in the city for many, many years, taken down about 30 years ago. When the building was demolished, we were able to salvage some architectural elements. There were very grand columns on the post office, but unlike the columns in Athens, say, or classical architecture, at the top, there was not a, a curled decorative element. There were two American bison that, that crowned the, the, the tall columns, and they were salvaged when the building was taken down, stored for many years, but then brought out here to be incorporated in this sculpture. And Matt, you mentioned earlier, there is a significance in the way these bison heads are aligned with something else close to us. Well, actually, yes. This uh, post office building was designed by Harold Crawford, a famous Harvard-trained architect who had a long career here in Rochester. He designed many private homes homes and public buildings, including what was originally the Rochester Public Library, now the Mitchell Student Center of the Mayo Clinic Alex School of Medicine. And you may, may know that the sandstone elements of the library and the post office are similar. Crawford had a very whimsical approach. He loved uh, the American story. He loved American materials. So he used this native stone, but also would incorporate elements of nature. And so on the medical school building, the library, now a medical school, he crowned it with an owl, the symbol of wisdom and long hours of study. He crowned the post office with American bison. And so you're seeing here in, in, in profile, there are ears of corn uh, and all the elements that kind of anchor it in the American Midwest. Yeah, very well, Matt. And of course, we can't forget about the centerpiece here, the uh, uh, Doctor's Mayo postage stamp. Tell us a brief history about that. Another connection, a, fa a, a, f a favorite collector's item for many people who enjoy Mayo history is the commemorative postage stamp issued in September 1964 to honor the Mayo brothers. And of course, the Rochester Post Office was, uh, was the command headquarters when the stamp was released. The Postmaster General came to that building. He said that the uh, Mayo brothers left a legacy of greatness and generosity. So we have elements of the post office building and the iconic stamp that was issued here integrated within the Fife environment. Wonderful, Matt. And we should point out there is a, a great educational placard. Uh, one of the things uh, is a, a great little piece about uh, bison versus buffalo. Uh, and, and that's something people should know, right? Well, a, a, a bit of natural trivia. So, Axel, I would say uh, uh, f f fill in this song. Oh, give me a home. I, I have to admit, I do not know the rest of the words. Where the buffalo roam oh. is a typical American uh, Western ballad. And that actually should be where the bison roam because buffalo are native to Africa and Asia. They have horns shaped like handlebars, whereas bison have short, pointy horns and a beard. And so we often think of buffalo as an American uh, animal, but it really should be bison. So we're very conscious to call this the bison statue, uh, honoring our, our, our great stamp and our history. You know, I'm slightly embarrassed. I've lived here now uh, more than 20 years and I, I did not, you stumped me there. So <laughs> No pressure. I will never forget it anymore. <laughs> bison versus buffalo. Very well, very well. Well, great, Matt, thank you so much. Uh, we should uh, reiterate this, uh, this area is accessible to all. Mm -hmm. uh, this park, uh, anybody can roam it, staff, patient, visitors. And the public. And the public, and uh, you're welcome to visit most any time. So thank you, Matt. We appreciate uh, your information uh, for all these uh, segments, and we'll be back with another one uh, soon. Thank you, Axel. Thanks for watching.